And a guy like Jalen Carter is... He's projecting like the creme de la creme of that position. He's projecting like he can be... People are giving him Aaron Donald comps. Stop. People are giving him Ooh. Aaron Donald comps. Ooh. Look it up. They're, they're saying he is the best interior pass rusher since Aaron Donald. Oh, I can see that. That's what I'm that saying. Sure. Is, is If you have a chance at something like that, you cannot pass on it. You want to know how much of a, uh, I mean, no, no pun intended, but a dog that he is? I mean, you had the situation last year where you're talking about uh, Jordan Davis in the middle. He's getting all the love and the credit. Yeah. But watch that national championship game. I'd pick Carter out. I'd pick Carter. And I was like, when's that guy coming? It's, yeah, it's, can you imagine that? And it's not even a debate either because we've seen it firsthand in Detroit with the Dominican Sue and Nick Fairley situation. Get you a big fella in the middle. It'll work. She's some cripes, though, dude. That defense for Georgia last year. Jumping jeepers. Jumping jeepers. That defense for Georgia <laughs> last Googly year. Googly <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at Jordan Davis, Trayvon Walker, Jalen Carter, yeah. Quay Walker, Lewis Seen. You've got all those guys. That is insane. To th- the Kobe Dean. Yeah, like that is insane to think about. Aiden Hutchinson. Aiden Hutchinson. Jalen Carter. Yes. Aleem McNeil. Romeo Aquara. James, James Houston, Houston. Julian Aquara. And that's what was Charles Abe, what Harris. Was Abe bragging to us about. We have a 10 man We have rotation. a 10 man defensive line Most rotation. These guys would be starting else, you know, yeah. elsewhere. Yeah, it didn't prove to be true. Yeah. But if you can build a solid eight man rotation on yeah. that defensive line what did it, what was my gripe in the beginning of the year oh, when we talked about Aiden Hutchinson he wasn't really performing up to sta- the standard set I was saying they were giving him too many snaps his snap count was over 90 percent over 85 percent and you look at the Nick Bosa's you look at the Micah Parsons you look at all of those guys they're right around 70 percent of snaps yeah. so they could stay fresh can in that, that end yeah. game situation and when you have a rotation of pass rushers you can afford to do that. And then you have the iron sharpens iron situation, too, when you yeah. have that defensive line going against one of the better offensive lines in practice, too. Top three. And at this point, too, our offensive line vets on there, too. Yes. Taylor Decker, Frank Ragnow. Now, the guard situation, we're probably going to find somebody else. I don't know if Big V is going to come back fully healthy because it's a back situation. Yes. But still, nonetheless. Jonah Jackson. All the tricks of the trade that you know you get learning from those guys. Oh, for sure. I, I Listen, it's a, it's a good time to be a Detroit Lions fan. 